What's up? Back out here for another night. All right, so I'm sure you came in because of the thumbnail or the title of this video, but let's not get there just yet. So we're out here in the shop tonight and it's a little chilly, but not for us. We have the Tough Duck shirt and the Tough Duck bibs on. Yep, broke them out. This is the first time this year we have them on out here. It's not super, super cold out, but hey, it's gonna let us keep going without any heat going in this shop for a little bit longer and save us some money. Maybe you're in the same position. You like saving money, I'm sure, right? Why don't you shoot over to toughduck.com, tell them the 710 Garage sent you, and pick yourself up some nice insulated bibs, or a beanie, or a toque, or even a jacket if you need one. That'll help keep your heating costs down, and hey, you'll look pretty awesome while you do it. Now, back to the project. So. This thing is one of 1100 ever made. This is a Ford Lightning, obviously an amazing truck. I'm sure if you're on the channel or watching the channel, you're halfway a car guy and you understand how incredible these things actually are. Now, what's it here for? Probably something you would have never guessed. It's here for a tonneau cover. And why would it be here for a tonneau cover? They're pretty easy to get. You just buy it off the shelf, right? Wrong. I never noticed these things and the way the bed is shaped, until the owner brought it in. Let's take a peek. All right, so here we are looking down the side of the truck here, and as you can see, it's narrower here and up here at the front than it is here in the center. It actually has a big bow to it, kind of like that. So what we're gonna do is he had a tonneau cover off of a Chevy pickup, and we're gonna go ahead and cut it down so that it fits on this thing. So. That's what we're doing. Now you know who brought you the video. Let's get at it. So we went ahead and cut off all of these edges. Let me get out of that light there. Let's do this. We cut off all the edges. That's these pieces right here. And what we did was, as you could see, I just took a knife and went down the top and down the bottom. And then I was able to get underneath this piece here and pull it off. It just looks like some, I don't know, black RTV or something that was holding these edge pieces on. This will go something like this. This is the other side, but you get the gist of it. Anyways, so now what I did was I went ahead and marked the center at the front and at the back, and then I marked a line every foot. So you can see that's the center line and a foot in, center line a foot, so on and so on and so on. Now, again, you may think that my numbers that I went on from a foot to the next foot, whatever, I could just kind of plot out but you get this odd shape. And yes, I know the bed isn't perfectly smooth or straight. It kind of bows like this, but it doesn't bow that much. So what my plan is, what the plan is, is I'm gonna take this thing, flip it over, lay it on the truck. And what I did was I put a piece of tape there with the center marked on it. So I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna line it up left to right. I'm gonna crawl underneath it, scribe, on the left and on the right with a marker. And then when I flip it over, I'll be able to cut just inside of that mark that will allow us to have these pieces here, the thickness of this piece here inside. So I'm thinking that's how easy it should be. Come along and let's find out how wrong I actually am. So, like you just saw, we ended up putting this thing upside down, laid on top of the truck. So, as you can see, I'm way over here, and my plan was to cut on the outside of this tape. So, we would have been pretty close. Actually, I need to go this way just a bit so that that aluminum edging would fit inside. Uh, this side here, it looks like I need to bring it over this way a little bit. 
but that's okay. I haven't actually lined it up dead on straight with the truck yet. I just wanted to give you a, you know, quick look at it. This tonneau cover is straight and you can see how this bed kind of bows like this. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. We actually need to cut a good amount out of here for this thing to fit down inside. So, like I said, now what we're gonna do is crawl underneath. I'll put a light in there and we're gonna line up our center line to the center line in the front. And then I have a center line back here at the back on this piece of tape and we'll just measure from left to right here and we'll get that thing right in the center so we know this thing is straight with the truck. Crawl underneath, scribe a couple lines and hopefully Bob's your uncle. So you saw us cut it. I have a really small circular saw that I used to cut through. I uh, didn't really like going through the aluminum parts of the tonneau, like right here on the end, but it did it. It just took a little bit longer. So the reason I use that is because it's got a really, really fine blade on it, where like a skill saw that I have has, you know, really coarse blades for cutting like two by fours or something. So I didn't want to do that and chip up the edge a lot. Um, yes, these pieces right here, as you can see, kind of nest over top. Those are the ones that we cut out, but I didn't want to like chew it up and then have to fight to get those back over. So this is the first test fit after I cut it. So as you can see, there's about an inch gap here and that gives enough, uh, let me zoom you in here. That gives enough, if you can see, there it is, for this little side uh, molding here to drop in. So these still have to be glued on and everything, but real quick, I just wanted to see kind of how we looked. So it sits almost flush and it will work. It will, you know, pivot up and do everything that it's supposed to do. One thing though, is it's a little bit short for the tailgate. Um, I'm not sure if he had a plan uh, on what he wanted to do. My idea would be to come up here at the front and just put a small flat plate underneath the front of this over top the front of the bed here. And what that would do is we can glue it on and then that would kind of get the rain and everything to bounce over the front. And then the rear, we would nest over top the tailgate as it would be, you know, if this was brand new. So the tailgate would be back here somewhere. As you can see, we have to go toward the back of the vehicle, I don't know about an inch or so at this point. Just got a couple stools underneath it right now. Uh, I raised the hydraulic uh, there just to kind of keep it where I want it so it's somewhat flush where it should be. And then same thing on this side. I have one piece here that's on and this piece up here at the front. Now, because we cut these on an angle, as you can see, these are a little short, but that's okay. I believe they're going to be long enough to use on this section back here and we'll take the one from back here and we'll move it up there. And hopefully that'll get us to where this stuff will start to close up. If not, I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna wanna do. Maybe he's going to want a, just a flat piece glued on the top here that nests over top. But he's coming tomorrow. Um, I told him I'd be out here tonight working on it. So he's gonna come tomorrow and let us know what he thinks. So my plan tonight was just get it all kind of mocked up and in place, he can come look at it, you know, say yay or nay before we waste too, too much time on it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So if I can get everything cleaned up, then maybe tomorrow I can glue it and this thing is done and gone and on to the next project. Anyways, let's go back and we'll get it cleaned up. What I'm going to do is these pieces here, they go on the top and on the bottom side of those panels and there's a little bit of glue on there from when I cut it off with a knife. So what I'm going to do is take a wire wheel on my drill and I'll run the wire wheel in there to clean out any of that glue. And then we'll be, we will be prepared to glue it on um, 
if he says go. If not, we clean it up to throw it in the trash, I guess. Anyways, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. And that's where I'm gonna leave you for tonight until the owner signs off. So, yeah, I guess you have yourself a great night, which will be like another five seconds in this video, and we'll just go and bring you back. All right, so next day, like I said, customer was here, really likes the progress that we made. I came down the driver's side here and I put on some of the trim pieces down this edge. So the edge kind of looks complete. Um, there is a piece of rubber that's missing in a couple of these like right here. So water would drip down in there, but I think we have a solution for that. As you can see, this one here has the missing rubber. Now this is all, um, all just fit together real loose right now. I wanted to show him kind of what I'm looking at and how it's coming along. So these corner pieces here, they slip over top and then they have this little finger here on this side that presses into the long rail and that kind of holds it all. So all of this needs to be glued, but at the customer request, he wants us to um, loosely assemble the whole thing and figure out how I'm gonna mount it to the bottom, like mount it to the truck. And then that's where he wants me to stop. He's gonna end up taking this, and since these are uh, fiberglass panels, he wants to get them painted, he wants to paint all this aluminum trim, and then he's gonna go ahead and final assemble it all. So all he wants us to do is the rough assembly now, so that when he takes it, you know, he can start playing around with the little seal here and everything else. So that's what we're gonna do. Today we're out here to finish up the passenger side here, putting these trims on this side, and, uh, try to come up with some kind of a latching system as the weather's supposed to be really nice tomorrow and we're getting out here to the season end uh, where we're at. So I wanna be able to get this truck out of here tomorrow. So at least he has it, it's in his place. And then if I have to drive or whatever, the truck's not in salt and snow and whatever else, if it does come to it. Um, there's no snow in the forecast, but you never know. So anyways, enough talking, let's get back to assembling. All right, so one issue that we do have with this tonneau is these back covers. Let me show you what we're looking at. So as you can see here, this panel needs a cover on it, much like this piece here. And that is this piece. But this piece has two uh, bolts that poke out of the bottom, and they're supposed to go through this extrusion down so that this can kind of clamp in here like that. And cutting so much off of this extrusion backward, we don't have those slots anymore. So we're gonna have to kind of monkey around with it a little bit to try and get this piece to fit in here. And it is shaped like this because there's a little pad that goes on this area. If you can see that um, little recess here, there's a little pad that goes on here. So when you flip over this first one, when you open it, it sits on a pad and then you flip it over again and there's another pad underneath that it kind of sits on. So that's what we're gonna work on now. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, I haven't even really thought about it, but we'll see what we can come up with, see if we can make it work. All right, and just like that, we got this thing back together. So as you can see here, all the outside trim is loosely in place. It's all just press fit on. At the back, we have the trim on there. We have the trim all the way up this passenger side, and that's it. So like I said, the customer wants to go ahead and final, you know, paint it and do all the final assembly of it, which is fine, that's great. So what we're gonna do is let him do that, get the cover back on the truck. So right now, you can fold it up and it would function just like a normal cover. It drops down and, you know, sits, flush if I didn't pull it over this way a little bit. But everything there is uh, the way that it should be. You can flip it, fold it, do everything that you need it to do. The only thing is I haven't figured out how we're gonna mount it to the truck. Now cutting off as much as we did, we lost the part of the extrusion that kind of like latched in for the little flick, the quick latches. And this customer doesn't really care if it's, you know, 
takes him two minutes to take it off or five minutes to take it off. He just wants it to be secure. So I think what we're gonna have to do is off of these two screws here, uh, we have these two bolts at the back end of the cover on each side and the same thing in the front. So I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of a bent little bracket that'll flick underneath and whatever. I haven't exactly figured out how we're gonna do that yet, but the truck does go away for the winter. So we have a little bit of time before spring, before we absolutely need to have that functioning. And I'd like to take a little bit more time to, you know, come up with a better idea than the current one that I do have. So we're gonna call the customer, tell him this thing is done and he can come pick up the truck, take it and do whatever. And uh, yeah, I guess that's where we're gonna end this video. When I do go and make the latch for it, I will come back and update and just let you know kind of how it all fit together final and finished. And I think that'll be kind of a nice little conclusion to this. But for right now, that's as far as we're gonna go. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching along. And uh, if you have yourself a lightning, guess you can make yourself a custom tonneau too.